What's up, guys? Hope you're feeling alive right now. I'm Micah Keneally. And I'm Josiah Keneally. We're your hosts. Thanks for tuning in and joining us on this journey. Well, if you want to get more involved, you can rate, review, and subscribe. We can check us out on whatever platform you are. And today, I'm just going to go there as a special episode because it's going to be back and forth, meaning that we're just going to ask and answer questions. I'm the spontaneous one. Josiah is the structured one. So That'll he tell has... You no idea what's coming his way and i don't have any idea what's coming my way and the rule of the game is you cannot have the same question back to back meaning if i ask him something he can't say well what do you think micah what's your answer he always tries to do that on date night guess what rule number one Mm -mm. think of your own questions josiah i love it i love it and it tells you (laughs) a little bit about our relational dynamic micah is a little bit more spontaneous a perfect example is if we're tag team preaching or if, if you're in doubt and you're leading an event, hand Micah the microphone. It's going to go perfect. She can roll off the cuff incredibly. <laughs> I'm a little bit more the structured, the points. So I'll give you an example. We recorded a different podcast earlier today. This is literally the script that I outlined. And this is mine. <laughs> and, but I share it for us. I also like we a lot of times bring a guest on the show. I share it with them. It helps them. It makes them feel at home to have a sketch or a conversation guy. Yes. But like Micah said, we're going to jump right in. This is our only script today. Okay. Putting Timer. 20 minutes on the clock. You say go. Are you ready, audience? We're gonna ask, we're, I'm going to kick it off with a harder question. Ready? It's, they're going to be fun. They're going to be all over the place. So just bear with us. So, Back and forth. Okay, let's go. Here we go. All right, Josiah, if you could throw one thing of mine away that you just despise or encourage me to get rid of, what would it be? That's hilarious. <laughs> I, I haven't really thought of it like that. I've been like, man, let's leave my stuff alone and let me just <laughs> for a second. But I would say if I had to pick something of yours... Okay, I think I did it, and it was this giant frame for decor <laughs> with nothing inside of it, but the thing, that's, that's what, that was my It was pick. a huge frame that had a wire on it that was beautiful during Christmas, but its life has been, it's over. Um, Micah. It's funny. My question as we go back to you, oh, I would man. say things like mentorship, discipleship, leadership have been such a part of God's plan since the beginning of time. And um, I'd just be curious, who are the voices that we know that maybe you look to? And then if you're going to, yeah, that, we'll leave it there. Who are the voices that I go to? Yeah. Ooh, wow. I think there's some individuals. So personally, I think Doug and Vicki Graham, um, they are some individuals that spoke into uh, me being called into ministry early on. More than 10 years ago, I started attending their church back in North Dakota. Their children are serving the Lord. They're all young adults or older now and they have their own children and some are married and some are not but i would say definitely them like personally and locally i would say another individual is um karen hagan who's Mm -hmm. married to scott hagan downtown minneapolis north central university president and his wife um some people that i like from uh, well i love from a distance i don't really personally know them as well as i want to but we do personally know them are um the willises i call them the will i family um they do exo marriage because i love yes because i love um marriage and stuff like that so marriage mentorship i think Mm -hmm. is important discipleship like that and personal growth i think they all have a seat into one of those areas of my life personally so i'd say those three couples i think of right off the bat so let's go Oh, that's so good. Okay, Josiah, I'm, I'm like the fun one. You're like super serious right now. Um, what is your favorite beach that you've ever been to your entire life? Not um, want to go. You've been there. In Sarasota, Florida, Siesta Key Beach. Ooh. I went there for the first time. Bro trip, Micah Mac in 2014. Mm-hmm. Spring break, we did twin spring training, all the works. But we just got back from the sun kissing our faces there Mm -hmm. for our fifth wedding anniversary. And I love Siesta Key Beach. If you haven't been there, it's rated the number one beach in America. And it's actually got imported sand that, what would you describe it? Like flour or powdered sugar pretty much? Oh yeah, it's insane. It's amazing. It's beautiful. That'd be my favorite beach. And um, I think Micah, as we come to you, when, if if people want to know you a little bit better, like, where where do you like shopping? Ooh, shopping. Okay, some of my favorite places: uh, TJ Maxx, Hobby Lobby, 
um, any, uh, what do you call it, fresh thyme. I love fresh fruit and vegetables, which I consider that shopping, grocery shopping, right? I would say those are my top two places. Target, hello, everybody loves a good Starbucks at um, a Target, especially once you have kids and you realize you can they have cup holders in their seats now like you put your kid in your seat and in your car there's two cup holders one for aurora well two for aurora and one for me so i guess i had to carry mine so those are some of my favorite spots perfect yep beautiful day okay josiah what household is it my turn yeah okay yeah what household task do you loathe loathe hate mm, man despise get annoyed with He's looking over the dishes. <laughs> no, I think like one of the things that just how our house functions, Micah is better at rattling the pots and pans, a.k.a. I mean cooking. Mm-hmm. And so if we want to eat and enjoy it, she's the one who's maybe going to cook. So what that logistically means, we've got two young kids. So I'm playing with the girls. I'm full on dad powers activating in the dinner time prep. Yep. She's full on in the kitchen. And then I saw Andy Stanley do this on his Instagram. He said that Sandra, his wife, is great at cooking, and he's not. And so I could relate with Pastor Andy. But he said every night he cleans up and does the dishes. Mm -hmm. So I've never minded doing the dishes, but ever since then, I think just about every night, Andy didn't say, hey, you should. But I was just inspired from afar, and uh, I was like, this is one great way to bless our family. Yeah. And so that's one thing of what it can look like. I think for me, household stuff that I loathe, we'll get really honest here. I don't know what he's going to say. For me, (laughs) when I was single, I always knew where my phone, keys, and wallet were. In addition, I never spilled anything. I mean, I never dripped on a tablecloth once. I never kicked over a beverage that I can ever remember in like 25 years of my life. We got married. I didn't spill anything, but then all of a sudden I started either me losing stuff or (laughs) stuff was moving. And I really think it was the hybrid of the both situation, both me losing and also stuff (laughs) being moved. And um, Everything has a spot. And I just would like to know where (laughs) that 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 is. is. But... I think the the other thing is when we started having kids, I don't know if it's stress or just clumsiness, but I started dropping stuff, breaking stuff, um, not an, out of anger or a spite mm-hmm. or on purpose even. I'll just like set my water down, kick back to watch a movie, and spill ice Literally, water everywhere. kick ice water. So, if any, man, type into the comments if encourage me if I'm not alone sippy seals all around that's why I told but them. I would say I think I don't loathe any of the house chores or activities I think it's hard the challenges for me are having a to to-do list that's longer than a day or a week out like there's things that I still need to do like change the oil in the lawnmower real time put new blades on a lawnmower real time <laughs> somebody wants to help invitations open but um, it's Love just pizza. finding that time. And then, but no, I would, I would seriously say, and I can get that under control. It's just on my to-do list. I'd say for me, I feel like I waste time sometimes trying to figure out where I or others put stuff. Great answer. Is that too honest? <laughs> no. Does that surprise you? No. That's been since day one. I feel like I literally have to have like one of those boards like you see in a garage that has like the hammer and it's like etched out so you know the hammer is missing and where it goes. So if you come over to our house and it starts to get that crazy, I apologize in advance. It's not like necessarily like that. The funny Mm. thing, the funny (laughs) thing about structure and spontaneity is I would say we actually balance each other out pretty well (laughs) because when it comes to a task, you're more spontaneous. Uh. I think I'm a little bit more structured like you know, like, or when it comes to communication, speaking, a lot of our work, um, or ministry, yeah. I'm a little bit more of the structured notes, manuscript. You're a little more spontaneous that way. When it comes to our <laughs> calendar and relationships, I think it question? flips. Oh, okay. Go ahead. You can answer. Go ahead. Don't Sorry. Th- I think it flips. That I'm more I structured. Think, I think you're more structured and I'm more spontaneous. Like if we get the call tonight, Hey, do you want to go to a twins game? Sounds great. See you there. And you know what? Like you might think like, oh, it's bath night or 
Okay, you have to think of the mind of a woman. What am I thinking about? I'm thinking about food. What are we having for supper? Who hasn't showered? Who needs to take a number two? Who didn't take a nap? Who's going to tuck them in? Aurora still wants Winnie the Pooh. Those are the things filtered in my mind. As a mom or as a parent, you may think that the 60,000 thoughts that you never used to have, probably 25% of them are about your children or about what they are doing or not doing or need from you. So I would agree that I'm probably more structured. Saturday at 11 o'clock, you got me. But... Yeah. It's hard to be spontaneous sometimes when you're thinking about others. No, it's so true. And neither's wrong, by the way. No, neither is wrong. We just gotta and think it through. I love what Pastor Jerry Stranquist has always said to us. He said, if you were both the same, one of you would be unnecessary. That's true. And so this I'm ready is, for my question. I was just that was gonna a say, twenty minute answer. I was just gonna say, like, that was my one comment for this episode. <laughs> oh. And it was about structure oh, and spontaneity. Okay. And then um, here's your question. I would love to know what is your favorite movie that you've recently seen on demand or in theater or what's a movie that you're itching to see? Oh my gosh. You guys, I think you're all going to probably have already seen it. Maverick. Okay. I Top Gun. love it. Maverick Top Gun. Yes, because it is, honestly, I think it's actually better than the first one. I agree with There's you. There's a there. different story levels of the story it's a layered storyline mm-hmm. there's less music and constant flight in the air which is fine in the first one because you're like this is epic but then it's like wow what are they going to do when they come out with the next you know version of it or the next sequel or whatever they call it so i would say definitely maverick and i'd say the story behind the first one is um in high school i was a basketball stat for boys basketball and also a football stat for obviously nine uh, man and 11 man football so after every game, if it was a Friday or Saturday night, we would go to one of my friend's houses for two years, my last two years of school. We would go there every single, after a win, we would go and watch Top Gun. Even if you didn't watch it and you're visiting with other 30 other people, Top Gun was always playing. So I think it just brings back some old, old time, I don't know, memories and just yeah. some fun of like, oh my gosh, that feels like forever ago. So Maverick for sure. If you haven't seen it, I would encourage you to see it. It's very good. All right, Josiah, if we were to catch you in the kitchen, and if you were able to cook something up, what would that be? If you follow my Instagram story, I don't overpost it, but I post it from time to time just in case people forget. But literally every day since about 2018, October, so we're coming up on four years, Mm -hmm. I had a little bit of a health transformation. And I used to eat more fast food. I used to drink energy drink and pop Mm -hmm. um, or energy drinks and pop. And I'd have breakfast. And I mean, I I just noticed that from college to that point, I'd probably gained five, 10 pounds a year Mm -hmm. each of those years and was working out at the gym, was working out hard, couldn't seem to accomplish some of my health goals. And then I realized about nutrition. I, I seriously did, and I grew up in a very healthy household, but I think in that first season of adulting, as I learned to be on my own, it was like, okay, that's what the house I came from was. What are my grocery shopping habits? Right. So I started um, doing not a diet, not a fad, but a lifestyle change. Mm-hmm. And so I do intermittent fasting nearly every day. Mm -hmm. And what that looks like is a window of time where when we eat dinner, I might have a little snack after dinner. But then when I brush my teeth from that time on till the next day, I have two cups of coffee every morning. Mm -hmm. So I make those in the kitchen. I make a Mm -hmm. smoothie. It's 1225 p.m. After this episode will be my break where I make a smoothie. (laughs) Inside it is almond milk, whey protein, peanut butter, spinach, kale, berries, Uh, banana and a whole avocado that is my sustenance until dinner so but what I can also make I can make a pretty good bagel egg cheese peanut butter sandwich I love smoothies I have made our daughter's pancakes growing in that area Um, but that's probably what it's gonna be or pizza (laughs) <laughs> I, yeah that's good all right well back to you i would just say i'd be curious micah like what's one thing that you still want to do yet this summer oh man still yet this summer 
Oh, man. Okay, so I love renovations. So on a personal home front, I have like three projects waiting to be completed in the garage. I would like to keep one of them and finish it and sell the other two. Those are my goals. I'll help. You'll help me. By, by giving you the time <laughs> you need to do them. That's perfect. Oh, my gosh. Okay, Josiah, if you were stuck on an island, what are th- who are three people you would take with you outside of your immediate family? Like Okay. So you and Aurora and Avalon. Yeah, you could are, take okay. us. Man. Or we're already there. Um, <laughs> that's a good question. I think I'd pick my amigos. My buddies. Okay, so Brent Silkey, yep. Mike and Mac, yep. you, and who's the fourth? You only choose two? I think Pastor Jerry. That's what I was going to guess that, for you, but I didn't want to say amazing. that live air. Okay. That'd be pretty amazing. Um, I think of, I mean, so many other great friends. I feel like we were blessed with a lot of great friendships and relationships. I would also, I want to know this person someday. Um, but I would, I think Joel Osteen would be a really great person to bring with you on the island because you're going to be in a great mood. <laughs> Faith me up. Yeah. Oh my gosh. All right. We have about 525 on the clock. What do you got? Back to you. Micah, if you could be friends with one person who you're not friends Ooh, with now. I already know the answer. Okay. Okay. So I one think of those I people. Know. I think I know. You think you know? I think I know. Uh, I didn't even hear the rest of the question, but I'm going to answer it right now. Candace Cameron Bure. I was right. I have liked her and enjoyed her acting since I watched Full House when I was probably no way five or six years old. Um, and I love the fact that she is standing on the foundation of faith, mm-hmm. even in um, Hollywood and on Hallmark channels and doing her clothing line and QVC and her all those different things that she has coming out. I think she has stuck to her relationship with Jesus Christ and not been afraid to do it. And she has, I don't know, in my opinion, she has not wavered publicly. Yeah. And even though she wrestles privately and she'll share some of the things that are going on in the household, like I just love her acting, her smile. I love that she loves Christmas because I love Christmas. And I just think she's, she'd be so fun. And I love to work out. So she'd be super fun to even just hang out with for a day would be amazing. So I think that'd be somebody. And the the cool thing too is you're not like the fan girl. No, oh you, my gosh, not, I run from never, those people. Yeah. I don't want to ever become those. Yeah, you've people. never been that. <laughs> okay, Josiah, what is the strangest, oddest gift that you've ever given? Oh my goodness! That you're like, why in the world did I give that? Or that was whatever. It can be an elephant gift. I don't even know. Oh my gosh. Okay, when you said elephant gift, that's when it came to me. When I bought like a camera or it was either like a camera or a laptop, like I'm talking when I started college, like 2009, 2010. You gave it away? No, came with it was a printer, but I never used it. Like my, I was living with my parents at the time (laughs) or I was at college and I never needed this printer, but it was like a photo jet full on like big box ink printer cartridges and everything so like four years of college go by and i was always like i'll sell it on ebay i'll sell it on ebay i either listed it and it didn't sell or something so it came time for christmas on short notice i get a call hey come to our white elephant gift exchange party come now and so i literally had friends waiting in the driveway to pick me up and i I, I think I had help from my sisters or my mom. <laughs> I wrapped a giant printer. That's hilarious. I didn't know that. Yeah, I, I wrapped like a giant, I mean like an Epson or whatever type yeah. of printer. And I brought it with to the party. And everyone, like nobody believed that it was actually a printer. Like they thought it was like going to be inside and it was like a quarter or a nickel or like but nobody lifted it up because it has but it was tree. a legit printer who got it do you remember i don't know were they excited or but were they, they were like, like this is like worth a hundred bucks <laughs> so it'd be ten dollars you had an extra zero yeah i bet they That's used fun. it somebody used it <laughs> okay ready and i felt like that one cost me nothing because i wasn't using it and didn't want to waste but whatever okay uh, we'll see if this is the last question or we have time for maybe one more, but a couple minutes I left. I answer fast. Deal. I would say, babe, 
I, I don't know if you actually have a bucket list, but what's one thing on your bucket list that either surprises you or would, or would surprise someone who's listening? My bucket list. Oh my gosh. Okay. I've always wanted to do this, but I don't have the discipline and I really don't know if I have the brain power and ability to do this. I would love to learn Spanish because we live in such a saturated Hispanic, Spanish speaking, I don't know, neighborhood, yeah. city, world. Like, I think that would just be incredible. And I've tried Duolingo. I've done all those and I get as far as three little vocabulary words and then bigger life happens which takes precedence over a foreign language because i've taken greek i've taken german i've taken aspects of sign and i'm just like i don't know if my brain can handle anymore because i feel like what's already in there has already been dumped out that way so that might surprise somebody i'm not sure if it's going to happen but i would love for it to happen do it all right josiah let's see let's see let's see let's see Mm. Ooh, what is your favorite go-to beverage when it comes to the coffee world? Because you didn't start drinking coffee until you were 25. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much true. Um, I had tried it, but yeah, I'd say this is going to sound hilarious because we're recording in the summer. And Brad Jones and you tease me about this, but I love Starbucks pumpkin spice latte. He's like a 13-year-old girl in his little... I don't know, workout clothes. So excited, eager for that day to come. It comes hey, earlier and earlier it's now. It's good stuff. It's, it was our daughter was born on August 22nd and a buddy texted me a Starbucks gift card this year and um, I got to go. He got to go. So that comes to the time is... Ooh. Time's Over. up. That's a real timer, by the way. I would just say, let us know if you have a question for us or if you think we should do another episode of Back and Forth let us know. Let us know. We'll talk to you soon. Have a great rest of your day. Babe, I enjoyed this one. Wasn't it fun? It was fun. Thanks for doing it. Great idea. <laughs>